Okay, so um, this entity here has harmed me. Births, deaths, and marriages. They've harmed my family. They've threatened my partner if she didn't leave me. Um, they take the kids, kids off us. Um, my partner um, uh, uh, was so fucked up in the head with the Prozac that they gave her. She strapped my son's leg. Now I didn't know it was strapped. I just thought it was bandaged because I was fucking working in the garage. She rips the fucking flesh off his leg, rips the hairs off his leg, rips the, rips the scab off his leg. I take him to hospital after fucking pretty much having a wrestling match with her when she tried to take the phone off and I got the phone back and then she's clawing at me trying to get the phone and keep pushing her off. And then um, go down to the hospital and Thomas has stopped fucking being frazzled. I've stopped being frazzled. Bought him a lollipop. We're all happy. we just got to get the knee fixed. And they take photos of his knee and they say, don't you like using antibiotics? I said, well, no, the World Health Organization says it's fucking... Um, uh, you're overusing it, and basically my partner was the one who wrapped it, and she did this fucking shit fight, not me, I was out the back working. But they still recorded it as a mark against my name, even though she fucking did it. Like, this is the doctor in the hospital, she goes, my free course. Then they ring her up and they say, are you okay? So, they, everything she did, strapping her the leg, not putting a bandage over the scab, um, like a, a pad and then putting the strapping over the top if you've got to and then ripping his skin off and this flat all this shit was done by her all they do is fucking take my son off her and take my son to the fucking hospital and I said fucking use hydroproxide and she said no no that hurts I said no it won't you're using fucking um, uh, nitrous oxide to, to fucking take away any pain so why use antibiotics when fucking hydroperoxide, you can just rub it off with that. Put it on, rub it, put it on, rub it, comes off. It dissolves it, basically. Fucking wouldn't do it. I had to give him antibiotics. They have to harm the, They have to harm my son. They fucking have to harm my son. Why is that? Because I've got you down as being the dead, okay? So this is for uh, someone who asked the question about how do I send my kids to school? You know, it's public. I'm public school. I won't be able to pay for it otherwise. Okay, so this document is a PDF from Birth, Deaths and Marriages Attorney General's Office, Attorney General and and Justice. Now, this is the this is the corporation. Okay, this isn't actually New South Wales government. This is NSW. If there ain't a dot, this is basic grammar, right? This is fucking like uh, probably Year Seven English. If there isn't a dot after N, it's just N. If there isn't a dot after S, it's just S. If there isn't a dot after W, it's just W. If there's no periods or stops, the, the periods and stops indicate there are letters attached to the capitalized letter. So N dot would be N-E-W. S dot signifies S-O-U-T-H and W dot signifies W-A-L-E-S. So it would signify New South Wales government. But this is just Niswa. Niswa. Niswa, that's all it is. It's Niswa government. It's not actually the New South Wales government. It's a corporation masquerading as the government. And what they did was, um, I've got recordings of it. Oh, I don't like putting those recordings on there because um, it's an easy way for fucking people to play the victim and get the fucking my channel shut down. So I'll, I'll do a, um, a transcript. And so he actually says that the occupying army, the BAR, come in and they occupy all the public offices. Public means dead, okay? Just corporate entities. And so they put you, when they sign the birth certificate, they put you on the Egyptian Book of the Dead. So the births, deaths, and marriages are um, the the house BDM. Yeah, so uh, B is the house, D is the doorway, and M is to C, okay? Mar. M-A-R-I-R, -R, Maria, which is the ancient word for Mary out of the Bible, means semen, yeah? So, birth, death, semen, over time, yeah? Um, and registry, uh, gist is, is a fact in law, and re means no. So, no, no fact in law. Um, if there's no fact in law, it basically, it's, this is basically known as transferring of equity, okay? So, Transfer of equity of births, deaths, and marriages. Yeah, it's it's all code. You got to break it down, right? So, birth certificate content review. 
New South Wales Registry of Births, Deaths and Marriages. I'm just going to call them that from now on. This is 2014, by the way. I didn't. I thought it was 2007. So it just goes through the contents chapter, recommended, recommended, recommended chapter, introduction, 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 adoptions, donor, indigenous. This is all. This is all. Um, this all means dead. This is, all these words are dead. Right? Citizen, collateral, collateral, itis people. Zen is a condition of mind, and then you're on a ship. Proof of. I identify idiot identifying entity yeah donor information so on the donor card they're going to come after you because they'll, they'll they'll go off your blood type and they'll try and match you for someone who really needs it one of their mates and they'll fucking knock you off that's what's happening in China alright so uh, executive so miss it was but don't read this bit yet this was birth tests and marriages registry is reviewing the content of birth certificates birth certificates have appeared in the current format appendix one for many decades with only minor changes fucking those minor changes are major changes to content during that time the review is being undertaken by the for, uh, for the following reasons changes in how birth certificates are used in consideration of how birth certificates can best reflect the changing composition of families in Australia family means property right that's where I got caught out with consent orders but it's all based on fraud and fraud has no statute limitations even under military law in response to recommendations of the Senate Committee, uh, uh, sorry, Senate Community Affairs Committee inquiry into that was a mouthful into the Commonwealth's role in uh, former adoptions policies and practices. And it's a bit of a weird introduction there. Changes in how birth certificates are used in consideration of how birth certificates can be best can best reflect changing composition of families in Australia of estates, yeah, families property, right. In response to recommendations, the Senate Community Affairs Committee inquiry into the Commonwealth role in former adoptions policies and practices. You know, straight away, it, it hits you with fucking. This is this is thermonuclear, right? This is like my ex with diarrhea, right? Fucking anything, uh, anything below the rib cage, it's brown, right? When she's got it, everyone's gonna wear it. So a birth certificate is used to establish identity, not yours, and enable individuals corporations to establish their rights and discharge their obligations no contract because league means to join ob means no obtuse in respect of services provided by the entity calling itself government and private sector a birth certificate can also establish part of a person that's a corporation it's a vessel it's a ship it's a corporation it's a state it's a territory genetic and family history Okay, I'll read that again without speaking idiot, which I do quite well. A birth certificate is used to establish identity and enable individuals to establish their rights and discharge their obligations in respect of services provided by government and private sectors. A birth certificate can also establish part of a person's genetic and family history. No, it can't. Because if you read any birth certificate before 2014, it said a birth certificate cannot be used for identification purposes because the birth certificate is the registration of the placenta. The birth certificate is the registration of the placenta. It's the offering place in centre fee to us. Right? Old mate didn't give them the placenta. They were fucking miffed. They went to take it. He said, that's theft. They went to cut the umbilical cord. He said, don't do that. The umbilical cord's still giving stem cells to the baby. She needs them to think. And nutrition as well. Then they said, well, why do you want to do that? And he said, wait till it stops beating. They looked at each other. Then, the, um, sorry, it's rubbing the eye. Uh, then the, um, the doctor wanted to cut her, but, oh, sorry, before, before the baby's out, baby wanted, wanted to cut her, and she, they said no. And then she said, well, I'm the doctor, and, and the, the nurse and the lady who was trying to push the baby and the husband said, you cut her, you're going to be down on the floor. She goes, I'll call security. And he said, I'll have you done for um, rape, uh, wounding, uh, or something um, when you're getting paid to do something, uh, conflict of interest. Because the doctor the doctor in the hospital gets paid 1200 or $1,800 for just cutting the base of the vagina and splitting the woman. And then uh, and all they do is they put the suction cup on and they pull them out. Um, what was the next one? So don't, uh, oh, turn all the lights off. So when the baby was getting born, he said, turn all the fluorescent lights off. And I said, why is that? Because they want to shock the baby out of its natural state. 
And so he said, well, when you turn the lights on, the, the fluorescent lights are like our laser beams that it just traumatizes the baby. So they turn the lights off, she gets on all fours, they cut the cord after it finally stops pulsing, um, went to take the placenta, got them to bring it back, and didn't sign the birth certificate. They put them up in a private room for fucking five days trying to con them. Then the mother turns up, mother's fucking, um, uh, the mother's father is a QC barrister retired down in Victoria, and she's pretty cluey as well, very good with fucking English. Um, and she was asked, what do you think about them not signing the birth certificate? Uh, not not immunising the baby birth certificate and the mother turned around and goes well if you consider that there are over 100,000 deaths related to doctors practices over medication and misuse of drugs schedule drugs in Australia it's probably a good thing that they don't get uh, take the vitamin K shot and then all the doctors sort of slowly look at each other and just mosey on the fuck out of the hospital then a nurse comes up to them and I can't say who this is and a, a senior nurse comes up to them and she says oh my god oh my god you guys are rock stars she goes I don't know how you did that. Everything you said was spot on, and we can't say anything in the hospital. And um, every nurse in the hospital knows who you are, and we're all rooting for you. And so the nurses have been made to say stuff they don't want to do, to say and do things they don't want to do, otherwise they will lose their jobs. Now you have to understand that all hospitals are controlled by Freemasons. All hospitals are controlled by um, the uh, Order of the Morning Star, right? Um, which is basically there to steal your soul. They prick the heel, they get the blood, a sign of life. They print the feet, they're stealing the soul. They print the feet in black on the paper, they steal the soul. They um, uh, take, uh, give the baby some product, some of their product. There's contract, or it's joined her. And then what they do is they, um, they take the placenta and they say that's the product of life. It's what they call uh, born alive. The product or, or their of Look up born alive on Black's Law. Or look up Kurt Cullenbach. So a birth certificate is used to establish identity uh, and enable individuals to establish their rights and discharge their obligations in respect to services provided by the government and private sector. So if you want to put your son or daughter in a private school, you can use a birth certificate. So you can use a birth certificate to pay the government and also the private sector. A birth certificate can also be used to establish part of a person's genetic family history. Okay? And birth, uh, birth, the birth registration details are recorded in accordance with birth, deaths and marriages registration 2011 regulations appendix, uh, appendix 6. The birth certificates are issued under section 49 of the birth, deaths and marriages registration act 95 BDMR act. Any amendment to the regulations of the Bidding Act we consider to be outside the scope of this review. So any amendment um, to the BDMR Act is outside what they're talking about here because they're only talking about what what's up to this point. Rather, the view concern that changes earthly conduct uh, can be implemented within the current legislative framework. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I think there was one more. So you're quite welcome to um, hit me up for a copy of this. I'll send it to you. Um, tell you what, I'm going to charge for it. Fuck it. <laughs> you look up yourself. Now this is all technically fucking... Um, tanking anyway because they're going to mar uh, martial law and if you don't I'll, I'll put it this way if people aren't sharing this stuff um, they're either Freemasons or um, they're uh, yeah they're a product of their own stupidity which technically I am because I'm on the same fucking boat so that was it um, so I'll just go straight to the top so get that into your head. So establish their rights, discharge obligations in respect to services provided by the government. That means police, debt, all that kind of shit. But I would fight it rather than pay it because they're fucking liars. And private sectors. Okay, so I had a question. How do I pay for a fucking private this and private that? 
So let's look at AS23, Australian Accounting Practice, set off and extinguishment of debt. Okay, so let's go look at set off and extinguishment of debt. I've got to find it first. Um, it's number four. Been a while since I looked at this, a long time actually. A debt must be uh, accounted for as having either been extinguished when and only when it has been settled through repayment replacement by another liability, subject to legal defeasement and conditions set out in paragraph 4. So let's go to paragraph 4. Uh, subject to insubstance defeasement, employing a trust which, so trust, employing a trust which meets conditions set out in paragraph 4. Subsection to an insubstance defeasement in which the risk free entity assumes responsibility for servicing requirements. Uh, debt in a matter which, uh, for debt to be accounted for as having been extinguished through a legal defeasement. Okay, so you know the birth certificate is a legal um, instrument for uh, uh, extinguishing debt. Now I'll just pull it up again. So, so I'll just fucking resize this. Yeah. Okay, so we was um, first list of marriages. So what it say? And discharge obligations in respect to services provided by government and private sectors. So discharge means when you're discharged from the army, there's no more. It means the end. So terminate their obligations, right? So we'll, we'll just go. Oh no, not that way. Escape, escape, motherfucker, escape out of it. Always oh, does it to me. Wrong way. Resize. Here we go. Here we go. Back now. So. Now we know. Come on. Right, so that says here discharge their obligations in respect to services provided by the government and private sectors. Okay, so now we'll go to here. So uh, discharge means terminate, right? Dismissed means come back tomorrow. And extinguish means terminate, yeah? So they like to use non-fucking linear words. So these are what I call modular words. They're outside the normal spectrum. For a debt to be accounted for as having been extinguished through illegal defeasement and it, or an in an in substance defeasement, it is a condition that it is highly probable that the entity will be required to assume, again, the primary obligation, there's an obligation for the debt servicing requirements, interest or principal, to satisfy the requirements a guarantee, indemnity, or the like, are related to such requirements. The conditions to be met for a debt. The condition to be met before a debt is accounted for as having been extinguished through in substance of easement employment, uh, employing a trust, include risk free assessment or irrevocably transferred to a trust, the trustees of which are independent, remain independent of the entity, which is you and the birth certificate. Um, you don't control the trust, you're just the fucking executor. And which trust is used solely for administering those assets so as to meet the servicing requirements both receive, uh, both interest and principal of the debt. Uh, assets transferred uh, to the trust are of an amount type suited in the amount, timing, servicing requirements. Extinguishment, this is what we wanted, right? So implicit in definition of liability specified in paragraph whatever, that debt uh, ought to be removed from the statement of financial position, uh, so terminated, when it has been extinguished. And liability of a debtor, uh, of a debtor for a debt may be extinguished in a number of ways. By settling through repayment or replacement by another debt. Um, so debt notes uh, basically money, yeah, bills of exchange, right? So through legal defeasement, including forgiveness, um, you can ask for forgiveness of sins, assumption by a third party or legal judgment, um, through an insubstance defeasement. So we got a D. A defeasement is defined means by which a debtor from the primary obligation uh, for a debt, a legal defeasement could take the place in absolute terms, that is, the debt could cease to exist from anyone by being forgiven or set aside, or the creditor could formally recognise that another party 
has taken over the primary obligation for the debt. So I suppose the, the trust has taken over the obligation, so they'll, they'll debit the trust. They sound like an idiot. Instantaneous, uh, in substance, uh, in substance defeasement. The release from a debtor from the primary obligation for a debt may be also achieved in substance by the debtor either tr by transferring to a trust, to a trust asset there, either by transferring to a trust asset which are adequate to meet the service requirements, both interest and principal of the debt, so the total amount of the debt are dedicated to that purpose or by having a suitable entity assume the responsibility for those servicing requirements. Under this standard substance defeasement, strict conditions uh, before liability involve and consider extinguishing the account on purposes. Condition of standard uh, for debt, uh, say. The condition required by the standard to be met before a debt can be considered extinguished for accounting purposes through an insubstance defeasement, uh, which employs a trust, includes the irrevocable transfer of risk-free assets to a trust. Uh, risk-free assets are defined as limited to cash, securities of a creditworthy government or a body guaranteed under statute by a creditworthy government, which are denominated in the same currency as a debt being defeased. Um, uh, the reference to cash in the definition of risk-free assessment includes currency in the cash of the bank. It does not include any form of term of investment account with the bank. So it does not include any form of term investment account with a bank unless that amount qualifies specifically as a government guarantee security. Gee, what's a birth certificate? A, birth certi a certificate intimates a security who guarantees it. It also does not include variable rate securities unless variable rate securities match the annual data out hour. Instantaneous debt defeasement, consolidation adjustment, treatment of defeasement, defeasement when conditions no longer met. No, we're not interested in partial defeasement, no partial extinction, but cost defeasement. Alright. So. We like the word extinguish. Implicit in the definition of liability uh, specified in paragraph 11.1 uh, is that a debt ought to be removed from the statement of financial position when it has been extinguished. The liability of a debtor for a debt may be extinguished in other ways by settling through repayment or replacement by another debt. Through legal defeasement, including forgiveness assumption by a third party, well, the third party would be the fucking trust or a legal judgment through an insubstance defeasement. All right, so then you get an insubstance defeasement. The release of a debt from a primary obligation for a debt may be also achieved in substance by a debtor either by transferring to a trust asset, either by transferring to a trust asset which are adequate to meet the servicing requirements, both interest and principal of the debt are dedicated to, uh, to that purpose or by having uh, a suitably suitable enemy assume responsibility for those servicing requirements. Under this standard, in substance defeasement is subject to strict condition, uh, strict conditions. Uh, before liability, liabilities involved, considering extinguishing for the account purposes removed from the statement of financial position. So basically, um, a transfer to the trust. So the debt is transferred to the trust. Okay, so. You got a debt here for your school fees. It gets transferred to the trust, and the, the trust um, essentially uh, extinguishes the debt. All right, so there it is. There. How do we make another color? Marks is it? Lose color, preview side, zoom, invert colors, that work. Oh, no, fuck. Oh, okay, man, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, zoom this fit, reload this fit, yeah, image tool, continuous full screen. Ah, oh, fuck it. Anyway, so let's go to the other one. I was, I was uh,
This is going to get me shot. No, it's not. I wouldn't done it by now. Uh, valid government 30. Where is 1080? Let's find 1080. Double AS. Where the fuck are you? Double AS 23. There we go. Set off an extinguishment of debt, right? So now let's scroll down. So now we have, uh, so this is double AS23, and this is uh, the other one, double AS23, and this is uh, Australian accounting standards, uh, the other Australian accounting standards, double uh, AS23, and this is uh, Australian accounting standards board 1014. So we want um, extinguishment of debt. So we want extinguishment there, no, number six, number seven, right? And then it goes defeasement uh, in substance defeasement. So you need to jump on a black, black's law, start looking this stuff up. And so we'll go number six. Right, because they replaced, they replaced the pounds and um, they replaced with dollars, dollars is harm, so now everyone's in debt, right, they all capture, they fucking use it all kinds of cheap, uh, tricky little spells. Cost defeasement, I must be number five. Partial extinguishment, fuck that. Actually partial's got par in it, P-R-T-I-A-L, it's fucking... Jeez. Where do I go? Here we go. Okay, so extinguishment implicit in the definition of liability specified in paragraph. Is this the same one? Um, debt ought to be removed from the balance sheet when it has been extinguished. The liability of a debtor for a debt may be extinguished in a way. It's by settlement through a payment or replacement by, uh, by another debt. Um, through legal defeasement includes forgiveness, assumption by a third party, or legal judgment, or through... So this is exactly the same. Oh. And defeasement is defined, release of debt from debt or promulgation of debt, legal defeasement, uh, could take place through terms, that is, uh, the debt could cease to exist for anyone being forgiven or set aside, or the creditor, love that word, could formally recognise that another party has taken over the primary obligation for the debt. So basically, um, the certificate of live birth that you sign in the hospital, the hospitalist cult, um, they register the placenta, they create an estate, a deceased estate, they've got the body, and essentially you've um, paid them a fee, and you're now, your name is now inside the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and they give you a certificate, sir is cur. And so, um, uh, uh, I don't know what tiff means. We'll look on up, sir, tiff, it cat, cat is to bow down here. Yeah? So you've got certificate now, you've, you're the holder of the bond, you're the holder of the security. Um, it's traded, they add value actually bad but anyway they add value and um, sorry eat some biscuits today not agreeing with me um, they add value and um, essentially uh, their value goes up and so the as far as I can ascertain the uh, stipulated birth the cess decay by cess is waste, yeah, it's a cess bit there. Yeah. Um, the cess decay by trust uh, is essentially like shares in the gold, and when you discharge um, the debt through the birth certificate, um, you're essentially giving them access to the gold. That's uh, essentially what's going on, as far as I can. Um, it, it, everything has to be manifest in your mind 
you have to look at it, look at the mechanism, and I mean, if we get through to the other side and we have time, you have diagrams and draw it out and then overlay stuff, and you can actually see how things work. But they don't work that way because it's it's it uses a system called Langu, and Langu is not supposed to be spoken. If it's not supposed to be spoken, it's not supposed to be written. Um, and essentially, I'm talking about it now, so I'm using. I am. Uh, it's you, Langu is not supposed to be uh, given parole, and parole means to speak. It's not supposed to be spoken. Um, so there you have it. So that's double uh, ASB ten forty. Now, what is double ASB ten forty? Accounting Standards Australian Accounting Standards Board, and this is nineteen ninety six. Gee, nineteen ninety six. Long time ago, set off and extinguishment of debt issued by the Australian Accounting Standards Board. Obtaining a copy of the Australian Accounting Standards Board, and this is Australian Accounting Research Foundation, Hall of Victoria. So, everyone who printed this knows about it, they're in on it, right? So, this isn't like a few fucking people, man. This is like fucking every black coat wearing Federal 8 knows about this. Um, I'll do a clip. Um, if people remind me in a couple of weeks, a little clip on all, all the federal fucking police officers. We're talking about inspectors. We're talking about chief inspectors. We're talking about sergeants that have committed suicide in the last fucking two to three years. That have committed suicide with a gun inside AFP offices, and you didn't fucking hear about it. That's one. That's one you'll really like. Uh, an AFP officer commits suicide in her hotel room. Writes an email. And it's considered a suicide note, even though it's not in her handwriting and there's no fucking signature. This is the kind of shit that's going on. And, you know, the coppers are like, um, you know, I will close ranks. It's like fucking, I'm not making this shit up. You don't get to take my shit. I don't get to take your shit. And I'm pretty sure no one's ever taken your fucking shit. And pardon the French, but that's just how it works. So this is double ASB 1014. Boop. Boop. This is, uh, oh, where is it? Come on, this magic hand. All right, and you got double AS23, all right? So I'll go here. All right. Extinguishment, of, extinguishment of debt implicit in definition of liability spe specified in paragraph whatever, 1.1, 11.1, uh, is that a debt ought to be removed from the statement of financial position statement of account when it has been extinguished. The liability of a debtor for the debt may be extinguished in other ways when settlement through repayment, settlement by settlement through repayment or placement by another or replacement by another debt or through legal defeasement including forgiveness assumption by a third party right or through in substance defeasement. So you got in substance defeasement, assumption by a third party, which would be a trust, trust, and by uh, by settlement through repayment or replacement by another debt. Settlement through repayment. Right. So that's A S double A S twenty three. Right, and then we'll come to here now. So this lines them all up. And this is NISBA, this is a corporate entity, right? Um, this is why I haven't done any of this, because I don't want to sign up to a fucking a bunch of mongrels that you can't trust to not buy it themselves. And, I mean, if, if there was a penny in it, um, they'd buy it themselves on the arse. And, you know, like, uh, the whole time... Um, I was speaking to this woman called Deborah. She's a cold notary, a notary public, I should say. Um, she kept saying, "Take down your clips, take down your clips." There's a guy called Neville up in Queensland. He kept saying, "Take down your clips." Now, when someone says to me, "Take down my clips," I know they're a fucking handler straight away. I went and stayed in this guy's fucking house. No one. He's a fucking handler. He had a Croatian flag on his fucking wall, red, white, and blue. Right, so it was just uh, you see things and you don't doesn't click, but it was just certain things stand out. And uh, his missus was a um, 
a, a nurse in the hospital. She fucking hated his guts. Um, anyway, I, I, if he's not a fucking handler, then he's the unluckiest bastard in the world. Anyway, I burst... You know, before I get on this, you all these idiots fucking going around telling people, oh, you can, you can pay off your mortgage with a fucking promissory note. And these guys don't know how to tie their shoelaces, right? And I'm not trying to be rude because I've fucking... I've been in the same situation. I've fucking got smashed because I didn't know how to tie the my legal shoelaces. Don't go doing a fucking promissory note to pay your house off if you don't know more than me. And I don't know enough. And I'll tell you, I don't know enough. I know enough to fucking cause these cunts to go full lockdown before they were supposed to. And I'm happy to say... I'm one of the reasons why it's fucking happening because I'd rather, if it's going to happen, I'd rather fucking they do it early. So, um, their, their pants are down, so to speak. Right? And anyone will say, oh, look, look at the ego on this cunt. He thinks, no, fucking, my clips, me saying when they're at the fucking house saying there's a war coming, I know what's fucking coming. I've had an RF meter for fucking two and a half fucking years. I'm talking about the shit for two and a half fucking years, two years about the RF meter. Um, you know the the my clips have been like one 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 cop show thing that just showed one of my clips that had over two and a half thousand fucking shares, two and a half thousand shares, and one you know just me looking at one 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 of those shares had two and a half thousand hits, so two and a half thousand times two and a half thousand, there's two million right there just with one fucking clip, and they did fucking all my clips. Now. I was the same fucking I was getting 1.1 million hits after two weeks this shit was going viral and they just fucking they just they, they just maxed out their algorithm to shut down the maximisation and um, I've been told anywhere up to um, 1.5 uh, billion people could have seen my clips yeah because it's exponential right people share people share people share people share and it's the reason why I put them up is because um, when I run my son up and uh, she moved into this new house in um, in Sefton, little uh, flat, and I rang my son up, and he just went, Daddy, 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 and he's giggling and crying at the same time. And then about, he, I talk to him, say, Love you, Thomas, love you, Thomas. And he goes, Come and see me, Daddy, come and see me. I said, I can't, Thomas, Mummy won't let me. And then um, and Erin gets on the phone, and she's fucking screaming, giggling the whole fucking life, Love you, Daddy, love you, Daddy, and they're both fighting on the phone. And then it's like, Don't ever call this number again, fucking, I'll call the police on you. And so when my when my son and daughter get older, there won't be any of the bullshit that fucking um, that uh, uh, my first kind of a missus. Um, she crashed the car, three and a half thousand dollars worth of damage. Went to my father, said you can't tell Joe this, you have to promise. Okay, I need you to give me three and a half thousand dollars so I can fix the car. This was a lot of money back about twenty years ago, and then um, I got it fixed for about eight hundred bucks. And um, I said, uh, look. Um, uh, essentially, uh, or he said to her, he said, "Look, I'll give you the money if you tell him, but I won't give him. I won't go behind his back." But he did go behind my back and not fucking tell me about it until he was fucking dying at age sixty-seven when he thought he was dying of cancer the first time. Um, a fucking uh, sunspot on him. So <laughs> the irony was, um, she gets my father to lie to me. She gets my best mate to fucking lie to me. Uh, his missus to lie to me, and then I confront them in their fucking house, and they just fucking look down. And I said, I won't hold it against them. I just never spoke to them ever again. And uh, the questions got asked on base, and he was ostracized because two things you don't do in the army is you don't fucking lie to your mates and you don't fucking steal. You do those two things, you'll, 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 you'll go missing, right? You'll fucking go missing. At the very least, you'll get a fucking kicking. Something will happen. you have an accident. And the two things you don't do in the army is you don't lie, you don't steal from your fucking mates, right? Now, the um, you can steal from the army, but you can't steal from your mates and you can't lie to your mates. Um, you can't like, you can't drop some, some cunt in the shit, pardon the French. And that's all this bitch did, and she ruined this fucking... You know, she made life hard for this guy anyway, and... Um, uh, when you have those sort of questions, and there was a... I, I was out bush and... Um, uh, I didn't. I, I was twelve weeks out bush, and my fucking missus. Um, I was ten weeks out bush, and she's nine weeks pregnant. 
So I worked that one out. So I don't even know if my first daughter's my daughter. And then I still put up with it, and I was still trying to fucking, you know, uh, looking after my daughter, going to pick up on Fridays, and just doing all this shit. And then finally, she was smoking in the car. I bought her a fourteen thousand dollar car. She's smoking in the car. She did ten out nine thousand k's in a month. That's just fucking. That's Perth and back in a month. And most people couldn't do that. Um, and then I said to my daughter, "What's going on?" She's smoking in the car, and she just nodded. And then she just fucking blurted out, "I can't breathe when she's in the car, Daddy, because she's in the car with two fucking aunties chain smoking." I said, "Why don't she crack the windows? So she can crack the sunroof and you know ash out the sunroof." And it was an Audi fucking. Um, 2.6 liter V6 power everything I had all the options uh, fucking quattro um, got it at the auctions and the the, to, the the heater would have cooked the, the heater would have cooked bread right and so she gets her mate who's a copper to say that um, uh, I somehow threatened her and I said I'm going for custody close the door on the car pay the roof ting ding I'm going for custody fuck that I'm, I'm sick of your shit and everything she was doing was just like she was still this fucking 18 year old and just risking my daughter's life and fucking everything else so, um, yeah, this, uh, you know, like, um, I, I, I'd get a taxation department bring me up. This is fucking 15 years ago. I said, oh, you owe, you owe money. I said, who, who are you? And, and she said, what do you mean? I said, fucking, who, who the fuck do you think you are bringing me up fucking harassing me, threatening me? She goes, oh, we're the ATO. I said, I don't give two fucks. I said, I know every ATO bill. I said, Aubrey Penrith. And I just rattled them off real quick. I said, I'll find you. I'll fucking stand out the front take a week off and I'll go excuse me as everyone comes walking out and I'll identify by your fucking voice and I'll cut your fucking throat you ever ring me again and he had this bloke ring me up after this and then this cunt goes um, oh you owe money and I said why don't you talk to her about the $14,000 car I bought her to drive or the $3,000 I gave her to get her car out of hock it got repossessed anyway or the $900 I spent on the fucking the tyres and unseizing the engine and fucking everything else and she goes oh she never mentioned any of that I said yeah no wonder Fuck off, don't ring me again, cunt. And anyway, so... This is the kind of shit that goes on, right? It's basically fucking morons, fat cunts, demanding money with fake bits of paper that they float on stock exchanges and all you dumb cunts out there have your money invested in shares. They go, what are we going to invest our money in? Go and buy some fucking land. Go and fucking uh, partner up with a few people and buy up... And, Get a hydraulics company going. Oh, they could. Uh, well, you're putting your fucking faith in someone in another country who don't. You, if you invest in the stock market, you're investing in your own slavery. If you invest in the stock market, you're investing in your own slavery. It's called ASX. It's an anagram. S A T E N. Satan. It's the, your adversary, right? They, they they trade the securities. They they put them into something called a special purpose vehicle. I'll pause. They put him in something called a special purpose vehicle. This is something that a woman wrote over in um, Western Australia. A special purpose vehicle. <sighs> the securitization process, uh, particularly, I won't do this. I'll just fucking hold it there and you can read it. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll go off topic too much. All right? They get a, uh, they create a trust, they get a folder. They put all of your mortgages in there, all your birth certificates in there, in, inside the envelope. They call it a special purpose vehicle. And they put that into the trust and then they sell the trust because they can't sell what's inside the folder. They can't sell what's inside the folder, so they don't. They put it in a trust and they sell the trust, right? And they fucking trade that for whatever value it is. Now, it's a vehicle. It's a special purpose vehicle, right? This was around before fucking HSV Commodores were called special, special purpose vehicles, SPV, right? A vehicle is not a fucking truck, it's not a car, it's the fucking numbers and the, the writing on that little plate they attach to the car, and it's called copyright, and the police enforce copyright, and it's fucking treason. Alright? So, this is your birth certificate. A birth certificate is used to establish identity, it's not, right? It's not used to establish your identity. Right? It's not. You can't identify as a fucking writing on a paper. It's it's it's, it's paper. It's not you. You're the spirit inside the body. You're the you you're the earth. When you die, you go back down and become a piece of fucking uh, uh, blood and bone that the trees eat. Trees are carnivores. Man is a vegetarian. Right? Man eats fucking meat. He has a short life. 
Just look at Mary's when they hit fucking age 50. Right? Fucking Jonah Lomu who's dying at 42. Oh, he had a disease, yeah. Where do you get that from meat? Too much fucking meat. It rots in your gut. It's so, there's so much shit in the meat now that it's no longer good to eat. A birth certificate is used to establish identity and enable individuals to establish their rights and discharge their obligations, their debts, in respect to services. What's well, a service? You need to pay for it. Provided by the government and private sectors. Right? What's a private sector? Fucking McDonald's. What's a private sector? A catering company. Supply me all my food and give me a bill once a year. I'll pay in advance. How are you going to do that, Joe? Use a birth certificate. Right? So this is discharging debts with your birth certificate. Right? It's a bit rough. A bit off the cuff. I'll probably do a better one later. But it's up there. If, you've, if you see this clip, get your phone out and fucking record it because if my channel gets taken down, all right, you can always put it up. Oh, that's me done. I'm tired. Oh, crikey's. When you start going to bed at normal times, 11 o'clock is late.